Let's talk about the bent over row without any support. Now note that you can always come to a supported bent over row where you have your hand on a stable elevated surface and you can row right here. But for the unsupported version, let's get into the form. So this is really important to get the hip hinge down. It was important here, it's extra important in this position. So feet parallel, hip width apart or wider, and I'll show you that and why in just a second. I'm gonna keep my knees soft, hinge at my hips, keeping my back flat, and now arms out in front of me, almost like I've deadlift, deadlifted, right? Now arms out. They're gonna stay close to me though. They're not way out here. Palms can face toward each other for a neutral grip. Uh, we can go into overhand or underhand variations, but for now, let's just stay neutral. From here, we're going to keep our shoulders down away from our ears, and we're going to pull our elbows up past our waistline and squeeze our shoulder blades together and lower down. I'll show you with dumbbells in a second here, right? A couple mistakes that a lot of people make. They'll have their hands way too far forward, which can put more strain on the lower back or cause them to round. They'll just round regardless of where their hands are, or they will row up so high that now their shoulders drive forward to help them get their elbows up higher. We don't want that. We don't really care how high we go so long as we're doing quality reps. So keep those shoulders down and back as you row, okay? So with dumbbells, we can be right here, right? Hinged, exhale up, inhale down, okay? So that is just very simply the bent over row without support. But let's say that that position feels a little funky on the lower back, right? Or maybe your dumbbells are big because you're able to use those heavier dumbbells and now they're kind of hitting into your knees and that can be really uncomfortable. That would be a great time to take a wider stance, to hinge with your feet wide apart. Now I've got room for the dumbbells to come up. They do still kind of get into the hips, right? But they're not hitting my knees. And this for me feels more comfortable for my back. So play with the options that work best for you.